We put a lot of pressure on ourselves this year and sort of kept reminding ourselves when times are hard, when it's a Friday morning at seven o'clock and we're at training or it's a Monday night and it's raining and we're at training, we sort of, I've sort of just come together and said, come on boys, let's think about this now. Let's think about what we, where we want to be and what we want to achieve. So that pressure is massive on us. There is, a, there is an awe of expectation, most of it put on us by ourselves, but our success is a testament to the sacrifices that the boys are willing to make. The fact that people are willing to sort of say, oh no, I can't work, I can't work today, I've got to go and do this, or I can't go out for this evening because I've got to go and do this, or sorry, I can't come and see you because I need to do this. It's, uh, it's a testament to how we are, and like I said again, how we conduct ourselves. Last time Exeter won Bucks, so I was I was seven years old, so it was 2001, which is a long, long time ago. So there's a real sort of pressure on ourselves to do it. It's one of those exciting games because we we haven't played them before in a long time, and uh, we don't have we don't have a video on them, we don't have things like this, and I, I don't think they have the same on us. So it's one of those games where it's quite exciting because they wouldn't be where they. They wouldn't be where they are unless they're a good team. They wouldn't have won their league if they weren't a good team. Uh, and hopefully they're looking at some of the results we've put down on paper and thinking exactly the same. So it's going to be a hell of a battle. Done. Same things happened two years in a row, and it's upsetting for the boys that are, that are moving on next year. So the guys that are in their third year that are leaving, just because they've had sort of three enjoyable years at Exeter, and, and this is how it's sort of finished. Um, but it just makes us hungrier. As you can see, the boys already we spoke about them. The boys that are still here next year are going to be hungrier again. And you've got to remember that a lot of the guys are sort of 20, 21 years old. I'm still 19. Um, and there's going to be, if any of us take our rugby seriously and go on further, there's going to be more experiences like this and this is just a stepping stone into making us into better players.
as I'm sure every other young English rugby player in the country wants to play at Twickenham. The thing you think about when you're a kid and you watch Six Nations, you go upstairs and you jump on your bed and, and pretend you're scoring and try at Twickenham, it's exactly that.